Cards Daily is presented by Arizona Lottery. What's your game? Find out at ArizonaLottery.com. A lot to clean up this week, I think, anytime you know you have a nationally televised game and, and the Oakland Raiders coming into town, it'll be a, a great opportunity to try and get a week better. Yep, Cardinals working weekends because it is Cardinals camp. Coaches trying to figure out, all right, who's regular season ready and worthy? Paul Calvisi with Cards Daily. So specifically, what does Coach Kingsbury want to tighten up, clean up? Way too many penalties. Thought we moved the ball decent, but got ourselves in first and 20. Weren't able to overcome that several times. And then defensively, you know, run game, quarterback scrambles, let a couple of those get out, and we got to tighten those things up. Yeah, with the Cardinals win against the Chargers on NFL Network, the nation got its first look at the first pick overall. But what did K2 see on film of K1? I think he made good, quick decisions. He diagnosed his defense as well. He's cerebral. I thought his operation was really good. Had some checks that, that – was exactly what we wanted to get into. And um, for kind of the limited menu, I thought he executed at a high level. All right, so all told, Kyler had 10 snaps, seven pass attempts. Did he want more? Yes. He asked for all sorts of plays and keeps and all sorts of stuff throughout the week. So I knew that was coming. I wanted to score. I, want, I wanted to go back in. I, you, somebody asked me the, before the week, you know, would you, would you want to go back in or how would you feel? How do you think you would feel? But um, yeah, I was definitely, you know, I was itching for more. <laughs> All right, and finally, we'll leave you with the news that rookie Zach Allen would start on the D-line pending the status of Darius Phylon, who was arrested Friday night. It's been reported to the league, and um, so we will allow that process from a legal perspective and the league standpoint to move forward. Tell us what Darius' status is right now in the football team. Yeah, um, with regards to the Darius Phylon, obviously we're aware of uh, the situation and the serious allegations. Um, it's been reported to the, to the league, and um, so we will allow that process from a legal perspective and the league standpoint to move forward and uh, aren't allowed to comment further at this time. Is he suspended by you guys at all? Um, once again, not going to comment further on that. We're at, you know, we are where we are at it um, currently, and that's it. Excuse me, you mentioned uh, after the game that these guys possibly could play a lot more. What time have you made thoughts on that? Yeah, we have. I think after watching the film, um, some good, some bad, a long way to go in a lot of areas, but um, got some young players, some some meaningful time in the NFL game, and see how they responded. But a lot to clean up this week. I think anytime you know you have a nationally televised game and, and the Oakland Raiders coming into town, it'll be a, a great opportunity to try and get a week better. And I know our guys are focused and excited to get back out there. Overall, how do you see your defensive line depth right now, and some of the other guys that are playing, Zach Allen, and Corey Peters, and, and the guys who are going to have to be behind them. Yeah, I think that's an area that, you know, with Steve, we'll have to address um, where we're at depth-wise to get through camp and continue to uh, to evaluate players on, on that D-line. But I, I like what Zach Allen has brought. I'm really excited that, that we have him here, obviously, and um, we think he's got a heck of a future. Is he interchangeable either deep, deep and side? Yeah, we feel like he, he can – kind of do it all if we ask him to stand up you know he's probably versatile enough to do that as well so um, kind of a jack of all trades still a rookie has a long way to go and, and he understands that but there's definitely some versatility there I think you know his coachability I mean you ask him to do it 
one way and he nails it. And if he makes a mistake, he doesn't make it twice. And, and the work ethic and the motor, I mean, he's got all those intangibles you look for. Who is starting defensive end right now after your decision with you guys? Yeah, I think it would be Rodney and, and Zach. Cliff, when you say there's a lot of things to clean up for the second game, what are some of the specifics? Yeah, I, I think, you know, offensively, um, way too many penalties. We're in first and 20. Um, you know, I thought we moved the ball decent, but got ourselves in first and 20, weren't able to overcome that several times with holds or sacks or miscommunication pre-snap. Um, and then defensively, you know, run game, quarterback scrambles, let a couple of those get out, and we got to tighten those things up. Were you surprised by the amount of penalties or given that it's the preseason? I think when you look around the league, there's a lot of that going on, and, and understandably so. I mean, the officials are, are working their mechanics as well, and, and um, so I think it kind of comes with the territory at this point. Now that you've seen the film, what, what did Kyler do right? What did he do wrong? I think he made good, quick decisions. Um, you know, it was a small sample size, but just like we've seen, I mean, he, he diagnosed his defense as well. He's cerebral. I thought his operation was really good. Had some checks that, that was exactly what we wanted to get into. And um, for kind of the limited menu, I thought he executed at a high level. Were there things that you did just because of the preseason to see how they work? No. No. Um, you know, we're, we're kind of rolling through our base install and trying to execute that at a high level. Similar to every other team in the NFL, we, we want to see what some of those young guys can do when they're not thinking too much. And so we're letting them kind of play and, and seeing how it unfolds. Is that some terms like a timeout here or there, just kind of see how? Oh, the mechanics of it. Um, you know, there, there's certain things that I'd like to hit just to see exactly how the conversations go with the officials and how the mechanics of it go. But, um, you know, we got three more games to work through that. Jordan Hicks made that play to the goal line. In training camp, too, have you seen him be a playmaker? Is that an instinctual thing for him? He's definitely kind of a ball hawk. I, I remember the first practice in spring, I think he had a pick six. So he, he's around it, has a great feel for um, you know spatial awareness and, and where the ball is going to go. And, and that's exciting to see as a coach. What do you think of uh, Huntley's play overall? Uh, I really like the way he handled that two-minute drive. Um, you know, he, he continues to make quicker decisions and get the ball out of his hand. And I think playing in that rhythm really got him going. And, and it was a heck of a throw there on the touchdown. So that, that was a good way to end his night. How's the health of the team after the game? Is there anyone who's going to be missing? Um, the only one uh, that was probably a couple weeks was Josh Shaw. Has a shoulder issue that appears to be a week or two. Kyler mentioned twice asking to get back out there. Um, obviously, you guys had talked about him having limited time in the preseason. So were you surprised that he was pushing that hard to get in? Not at all. I mean, he, he asked for all sorts of plays and keeps and all sorts of stuff throughout the week. So I knew that was coming. But um, we have a plan, and we're going to stick to the plan. And, and we like how he's progressing. You talked about uh, receiving competition. Competition is still going on. Um, what, what's different about? You know, each one of these guys that are in that gray area. I mean, what? How are you going to break down who comes through stays? I think that's what we're trying to figure out. Um, you know, special teams is obviously going to play a huge role in those last two to three spots. But you know, who steps up? Who continues to progress and do things the way it's being coached? And uh, there were some bright spots from that group, obviously uh, Thursday, and hopefully that continues. Do you have any update on guys like Murphy or Isabella or any of the guys in the pup list when they might come back? I, I would expect both those young guys to practice and play this week. Um, so I know they're anxious to get out there in their first NFL action. Any of the pup guys close to coming back this week? Uh, kind of the same deal day to day on a lot of those guys, but hopefully we'll get a couple within the next couple weeks. He's doing better. Um, I think he's right on track for what, what we targeted, and that's hopefully anywhere around that first first game. Clay, are, uh, obviously he, he can't do anything until he comes back, but you know, have you seen enough out of him in the brief time you saw him in the offseason that you're confident that whenever he does come back, he'd kind of fit right in? Or We have. I think you look at his body of work throughout his career and, and the way he's been utilized, You know, it, it made a lot of sense, the different things he can do in our offense. And, and we saw that this spring, and um, he's getting close and, and feels good. And so hopefully he, he's back sooner than later. How's Kevin White? Still working through it. Um, you know, I, he won't play this week, and, and we'll kind of go from there. Cliff, are you watching Hard Knocks? I have not. I have not. All I really watch is the first 48, and then I go to sleep. So that's it. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah, we only got one preseason game in, and 
Um, you know, we still got three more to go, so definitely looking forward to, you know, um, just improving on just general everything, really. Corey was saying that the technical side of offensive linemen in, this, in the pros is a lot different than college. Do you find more physically that's being a challenge, or is it more learning just what people are scheming up? Uh, I think it's a little bit of both. I mean, the pro-style offense, I mean, like, in the like I played in the ACC, everybody basically is, you know, kind of shotgun, throw it out. Um, but, uh, you know, the pro style is a little bit different. But I think the biggest difference is, you know, the players are a lot better, you know. But um, we have a great offensive line, you know, going against guys like, you know, Sweezy and Pew every single day and Marcus and Mason and AQ and DJ definitely, you know, gets you um, – you know, <laughs> really prepared. So I'm very fortunate to, you know, practice against guys like that um, every single day instead of, um, you know, getting going against guys that are basically college players. We got in a little late. How much would you welcome uh, a larger role? If that's what happens and, you know, you're called upon and, and, you know, how much would you relish that? I mean, I'm just here to do whatever, you know, the team team needs me to do. I, I said that from, you know, the day one since I got drafted and, you know, it hasn't changed. And, um, you know, I'm just here to play football and, you know, I'm just excited to, you know, come and work every single day and, you know, whatever my role may be, you know, I'm just excited to, you know, do that. And I'll take that role, you know, as far as I can. What's felt like the toughest adjustment to playing at this level? Uh, I th I'd say probably, the, you know, the size and the speed of the game, you know, just the players. Um, but, um, you know, over time, you know, Coming out of high school, going to college is, you know, the same way. You just get used to it. So, um, but here, you know, there's a little bit of uh, you got to get used to it a little faster because you know you got to produce. Um, but uh, you know, it's it's been good, and I'm just you know excited to keep learning every single day. After limited reps in the first game, what's the, the things you want to take from that and, and move forward and build upon what you already have? Yeah, I think just the, you know that game was kind of like get the nerves out. Um, you know, personally, I thought you know. What I was doing in practice um, wasn't the same as what I was doing. I thought in the game I didn't do as you know well as I've been doing in practice. So um, definitely, you know, coming in today, you wanted to attack it and you know head on, and um, you realize you know you can't really take a day off. Or so I think that experience was good, getting the nerves out of the way. But I think now, kind of, you get that you know what the you know the game day experience is going to be like. Um, I'm just you know excited to play another game and um, you know get into the flow of things. Out. Is there another player that you usually go to, a coach? Like, who's your go-to person for questions right now? Uh, right now, I mean, Coach Acos has been terrific. But, you know, also from the player side, because, you know, being in this defense where there's so many great veterans, you know, Corey's obviously up there. Rodney's been great to me. T-Mac, um, Terrell, and Chandler just, you know, talk about guys up front, Brooks. So, I mean, I mean this is, you know, I've been saying this all along. I couldn't imagine a perfect situation for, for, you know, myself just because we have so many great veterans to learn from. And you can learn about, you know, more than just, you know, the football stuff, you know, how to conduct yourself on and off the field. And, you know, we have some great pros in this locker room, so very fortunate. Yeah, it's a pretty strong group. What's it like just yeah. It's it's awesome, you know. Just when you 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 you're playing alongside some of these guys, it's kind of hard to believe that you know, a year ago, you know, you were idolizing these guys, and now I still idolize them, but you know that now they're, you know, my peers. So it's, it's pretty awesome.